G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. This is one of those whoo out there recipes, but trust me, it works. So join me today as I make my version of brown sugar chocolate chip cookies. Now this cookie recipe is incredibly simple, and by that we're just mixing it in two separate stages. So for our first stage, I'm going to add in half a pound, or two sticks, or 250 grams of softened butter, followed by one and a half cups of brown sugar, make sure that's firmly packed, then to that half a cup of regular white sugar, then two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, to enhance the flavor, just a dash of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarb soda. Just don't mix up with baking powder. And with a handle stem mixer, give it a good mix until it's nice and creamy and well combined. Okay, so it is now nice and creamy. So lastly, I'm just going to add one and three quarter cups of regular plain flour and mix it through until it's well combined. Now lastly, we just have to add in our chocolate chips and just quickly mix to combine. Okay, now once it's all mixed, depending on the size, but I like to keep them to about say two tablespoons worth and I'm going to place them onto this lined baking tray. Now once done, we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Now I've just taken our first batch out of the oven. Now one important thing to remember is you need to let them cool down for about 5 minutes before you work on the next batch. Reason being is because of the consistency of this dough, you can see they're very very soft. So it's best to let them cool down for a few minutes just so they stiffen up a bit and then you're able to start the next batch on this tray. Now of course they are a bit thinner than regular cookies, but that's just the normal consistency that you get because of the amount of sugar in them. So it certainly does offer a unique taste, but it's also a delicious taste. You have a slight taste of caramel due to cooking the brown sugar, which really does set these cookies off. And they are crunchier, but they also broke up a little bit by those chocolate chips, which can only mean one thing when it comes to these brown sugar cookies, and that's that they taste simply delish. And as you can see, they're also incredibly simple to make while being unique and tasty. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time for the delicious recipe.